Hey guys, so I am grabbing bait right now and I want to introduce you to the owner of this bait and tackle shop. He's going to tell you who he is and uh, the name of his, his uh, company. Hey, I'm Luke. I'm the new owner of the uh, Reel Them In Bait and Tackle over in Gibsonton. Uh, we have, uh, it used to be Gibsonton Bait and Tackle. We, you know, we're open every uh, day now from six to six. So come on in and uh, we're gonna be carrying shrimp all the time. Uh, we're gonna be getting some fiddler crabs in even more uh, than what we have now. Uh, and then within uh, the next few days, we'll be having some pinfish as well. Uh, we have a wide variety of tackle. I'll be stocking that up and also frozen is also. So like I said in the last video, Luke is an outstanding guy. Um, he's helped me out so much with, you know, just tips on fishing. And every time I've come, he's, all his shrimp have been healthy and all that. So make sure you guys come down and check him out. Also, check out his YouTube channel, which I'm gonna have in the description below. Um, he's caught quite a few fish, so make sure you check him out. And then while you're there, make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. All right, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I am back out in my normal spot. I only have a couple of hours to fish, but I met up with a, um, a young man named Tyler. Uh, he's been watching my videos. He just moved down here from Alabama, so I'm gonna hang with him today. And uh, it's always good to be with other individuals out fishing. So you're gonna see him throughout the video. Um, name's Tyler, young guy. We're gonna get busy. We're gonna see what we can catch. Here we go. There's a fish right there. Small snook. But I knew I was marking fish. So. They're in here. First fish of the day, guys. Little small snook. I'm hoping. That's just a sign water is warmer in here too I do notice that all right guys so today's verse of the day is actually one of my prayers for the beginning of the year and this is my prayer for each one of you that are watching for this new coming year of 2022 and it's numbers 6 24 through 26 and it says the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That's my prayer for each one of you, is that you have peace in this upcoming year. Like I've said plenty of times, the way to peace is to find the Prince of Peace, and that's Jesus Christ. So, hope you guys enjoyed this verse of the day. What is going on? That's twice. <laughs> that is two fish, two big breakoffs. I don't get it. There's a fish. I think it's a stupid catfish. No, it's a snook. Oh my gosh. That's what's been breaking me off up here, I'm sure. Keep him out here. Get my net. Come on, baby. Come back, come back. Please, please, please. Get in the net. Oh man. That is a nice size snook, guys. Oh man. Thank you, Lord. Mm. 
So look, I just got broke off over here twice. And I kept trying to figure out what was over here. And I was, I don't know if this is what it was, but we're gonna measure this guy and see. All right, so I'm guessing this snook is probably about 25, 26 inches, but we're gonna put him on the board and see. Look at that, there's my other hook. <laughs> that is funny. Look at that. There is my other hook in his mouth. Can you believe that? That is absolutely crazy to catch that same snook twice. Wow, look at the size of this thing, guys. I don't know, he might be 28. Tyler. All right, we're gonna see what this guy measures. Right. Tip twenty six and a half. Twenty six and a half. But nonetheless, good snook. One more look. Nice size uh, snook. We're gonna let him go. I'm gonna get this other hook out of him now. Make sure we revive him a little bit. Make sure he's good and strong to swim off. That was fun. He was trying to get back to those pylons and he just couldn't do it. Uh, so I guess my other time it broke him off on the pylons. He's trying to kick. There he goes. Yes, sir. That was fun. All right. I caught that fish on free lining shrimp. So I'm going to stay with that because that's the third fish that I hooked up there like that. And um, we're going to stay at it, but I'm a little afraid. So I'm going to change this on out. Anything yet? Yep. And the crazy thing is I broke him off, threw back in there, caught it, and my hook is still in his mouth. But it was 26 and a half, about an inch and a half shy of a slot. I'm trying crabs now just to see, but I wasn't getting any bites on crabs. How deep are you? Ah, I might not be deep enough. Set. I broke off three times already. I don't know if I need to step up my my weight or my line or what. I don't know. I'm only using 20 right now, but the water's so clear, I figured 20 is pretty decent. But I know both times, once it was wrapped around something, the second time, I'm sure it was just the Snook's gill just breaking it off.
Oh yeah, I can see them down in there for sure. But they're definitely not on the bottom. Mm-hmm. I see one right here. I'm hoping he bite. Yep, one just came up to it. Actually, I got two of them up. Holy smokes. Oh man, there he... Uh, I mean, I see like four of them right here. And I think what I'm going to do before I put this thing on. I'm going to try to get over here and knock some of these barnacles off. back now he's small but I see one Finally got one on. Oh, he's a decent sized one too. Get over here. Oh yeah, definitely a keeper. Get in here. There we go. Finally. Got us a sheep's head. The hook came right out. All right. First sheep's head of the day, guys, right here. It's probably about 16 inches. Nice little fat one, too. Get on here, lay it down. Yep, 15 and a half. It's not Alabama big, but it's, uh, it's Florida big. So first one of the day, hope you guys can see that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get him in the box because I want to try to get down there and get another one Might be a drum. Get away from this thing. Nope, it's a sheepy, but he's huge. Oh, it's a sheep. Look at the size of that sucker right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, come on, get in the get in the net. Look at the size of that thing, guys. Oh my gosh. Whoo! That might be a 20 incher, Tyler. 
Oh my goodness. Whoo boy. That my friends was nice. Let me go up here where you guys can see this thing. This is ridiculous. I thought it was a drum, but it is a big sheep. This actually might be my personal best. We'll see once we get it on here. My personal best is a 19 and a half inch sheep. I've caught a bunch of 19 inch ones, but we'll see how this one fares. But look at that sucker right there, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at all those sheeps right there. Hey, Tyler, you might want to come over here. You got one? I see like 20 of them down here, this size. Nope, he is 19 and a quarter. So, he is not my biggest, but he is a good looking one right there. That is a big old sheep. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that sucker. Sight cast that sucker right here. Oh my gosh, I saw him down there, and so I threw the shrimp and he jumped on it. Holy smokes! There is a bunch more down there. Didn't feel him bite, just saw my line move. But another solid sheep's head. All right, that hook's going to stay in there because I just cut it. So another nice sheep's head, probably about 15 inches. I'm going to check him out. Oh, 16 and a half, almost 17. So this one's skinnier than the other one, but longer. This is not bad. What is this? Is this another sheep? It sure is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess that pattern still worked. Between the pylons and the rocks. He's not that big. He might be a keeper. I'm gonna put him on the board and see. He might be a keeper. Oh yeah, definitely. He's 13 inches. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that's a bonus fish. I was calling it a day, but he jumped on it. He wanted to play. So. All right, we're gonna put him in the box too with the other ones. That's the small one of the day. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the house. I did get three decent sized sheep's head. One was a 19 inch, uh, a 16 and a half inch, and a 15 inch. So a pretty good day today. Uh, didn't catch a, you know, the great numbers, uh, but I did get uh, the quality. And I got the one snook at the very beginning, a couple small snapper and, you know, a couple small sheep's head, but all in all, very, very good day out here on the water. Met a new um, individual. Uh, he has, you know, watched my channel, subscribed and all that. Uh, Tyler, uh, really good guy. Uh, I, I'm gonna make sure that I try to connect with him again and, uh, you know, fish with him again. He's from Mobile, Alabama, has been down here for a little while here in Florida. And, you know, it's nothing like being around other individuals, like I've said before, and fishing. So I'm going to make sure I connect with him and, um, you know, get out fishing with him. That's going to do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, please uh, hit that like button. And then also, if you're new to the channel and you never subscribe, please consider subscribing and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then share my channel with others so that way you know they can see the type of content i'm putting out all right guys until next week uh which i'm gonna make sure that i'm trying to put up videos every single week until then remember god loves you god bless you may he keep you peace